Hi, everyone. I'm so happy you were able to join me today. Thanks so much for spending part of your day or evening with me. And I hope that this week you were able to find the silver linings of life. I wonder how you're feeling about Mother's Day this year. In the early 80s, I lost what was to be my only opportunity to bear children to a miscarriage. Every year when Mother's Day comes around, I struggle a little bit emotionally. Some years I struggle more, some years less. It was easier when I was younger, but I've noticed as time moves forward, I long for the child or children I never had. Last year about this time, I was mourning over the passing of my own mother. This year, the pain of her absence is easier to bear. I have a dear friend whose own mother recently passed. I sang at her mom's memorial, and I know that this first Mother's Day without her mother, who was also her dear friend, will be challenging. Then, too, I think about women who are either pregnant right now or have recently given birth. I imagine their joy as they walk into their own first Mother's Day. I smile for them. There are countless other women who bear motherhood as single women, doing their best to be both mom and dad to their children. On Mother's Day, they won't have a husband to love them, acknowledge their sacrifices, or bless them on their special day. That makes me feel sad. There are mothers who this year have buried a child or children, and I think how hard that must be. Finally, there are mothers who emotionally are estranged from their children or vice versa. That's a special challenge, isn't it? I don't think it's true that every woman wants to be a mother, but every woman has had a mother, and in that we all have a common interest. I also believe every woman is a mother, if not in the bearing and raising of children, but women's nurturing side seems to reside in most every woman I know. The main point I want to share today is that motherhood, even in an imperfect world, is something to be celebrated, revered, and nourished. I wonder how you're feeling about Mother's Day this year. Comment below. Do you want to pull the covers over your head and forget the day? Are you looking forward to it? Or are you somewhere in between? As for me, it's taken me many years. It's taken a determined effort to look for the silver lining of barrenness and come to terms with my own situation. There's only one thing to do, and that is to lay it down, to finally lay it down for good, and accept, as they say, the, quote, hand, Unquote, I've been dealt in this world. I prefer, though, to dig a little deeper and look for the silver lining in barrenness, that God has used it to grow my character, love and trust His perfect will for my life, and to believe with all my heart that I will see my baby in heaven one day. Happy Mother's Day, ladies. I hope you have a wonderful day. So happy to be with you on this Mother's Day. As you can see, I've got a wig on today, and I'm very excited about this wig. Her name is Angelica, and she is by Noriko. Now, Angelica, I pulled her out of my collection. She was one of the first wigs that I put on my head, and uh, she comes right out of the box like this. I just combed her. And I did put a little bit of It Stays because she does not have a lace front. But as I've said so many times, everything rides back on me. And I mean everything. And so I put my It Stays on. And then when I take the wig off, I just use a little bit of warm water, remove it. It's water soluble, comes right off. And then comb the wig, put it back in the box. So I think that Angelica wears very, very well. Now, I don't usually go this long anymore, but for special occasions, I would love to have a long wig. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, and I'll be wearing this wig, I think, uh, tomorrow. And she's very light. She's very, very comfortable. Now, I've had her on my head for a good hour now. Her fibers are very, very comfortable. They're very lifelike. Um, there is a lot of hair. I wouldn't say huge, thick density. We are going to need some kind of a rubber band just to catch that hair and then you're going to take your clip
and just clip it on. I just grabbed my earring <laughs> and just clip it on. And I think that's a really pretty look. Now I probably, seeing as I can see a little bit of the black under there, maybe I would use a uh, a silver band or a, probably a white band would, would be better. But either way, I got this clip recently off of Amazon. I think it's very pretty. I don't necessarily think we need the earring with it. But I love these earrings. But that's up to you. You could have a little stud or just anything there. And then this part here, we'll leave it leave it hanging down. I think that looks very, very pretty. I did review Angelica back in April. I think I re reviewed her even before that. But I like to bring this up because you can see in this review my natural white hair. And then as I go further in the review, I actually put Angelica on. And I show you how I do all that, and and uh, again, this was my first time. This was um, this was filmed up in my guest room, which I've mo now moved down into the lower part of my house because summer's coming and it just gets steaming hot up there. But if you want to go back there, I'll link this original video below. See, I put a, it stays up there at the hairline, and it's not going anywhere. Uh, when you stand in front of a window, she looks very white. Uh, studio lights, she is presenting more like um, platinum blonde, or she has no yellow in her at all. None. I don't do yellow wigs. So... Um, I think that this is just a really, really pretty wig, and for the the price of her, I can't remember what she costs now, but she's not a high, high, high she's not a high end wig uh, because she's all machine made. She has no lace front. Of course, you could take this and move that back if that's bothering you. But I kind of like how that how that looks hanging down. So yeah, that is Angelica. And again, as I said, I'll put a link for you below. I don't always wear the long wigs anymore. I'm, I'm, lately, I've been around my collarbone, uh, between my collarbone and my chin. But occasionally, as I said, for a special special day, Mother's Day, holidays, birthdays, anything, special party, I love okay, to have now some the other hair. thing that I want to show you is something that my sister shared with me last night. You saw it in the title, Amazon Find, Amazon Find. And look at this. Six bras for eight for, well, I'm not going to say the price, but six bras, you can see the price there. My sister, I talked about this last week, has been looking for brassieres that are comfortable. We're all, all looking for the comfortable, comfortable brassiere. Very hard to find. And we don't like that. We we really don't like the band underneath. It's fair. It hurts. I mean, after a while, you just want to take it off. It's summertime, you're perspiring. Well, she was so excited. We had our conversation last night, and she said, "Look at this. The price that's for six bras. The price is yes. It's not a mistake. It's for six bras. How pretty! And my sister actually." raised up her blouse so that we could see how it looked and she had had it on for five hours and she said she absolutely loved it so I have ordered these for myself I don't know how long this is going to last but I thought I would just send this out to you so that you could head over to Amazon I'll drop the link for you below and again I know it doesn't have to do with a wig but every once in a while you just find something you got to share with everybody who subscribes to your channel thank you for so visiting with me today I hope you look for and experience silver linings this week and if you do that you'll share them in the comments below see you next time on silver linings and happy Mother's Day bye bye